my name is Trigger Shah. I'm a product line manager at Palo Alto Networks. I focus on public cloud security. Today I'm going to talk about security for Google Cloud Platform. As you know, public clouds operate on a shared security model, meaning the cloud provider takes care of security of the infrastructure, and Google does an incredible job of protecting the infrastructure, giving you multiple regions, availability zones, and features like IAM that allow you to securely manage your infrastructure. However, once packet hits the VPC, the network where your infrastructure is going to live, you have to secure it with tools like next-gen firewalls that protect the network itself from advanced attacks. So what a next-gen firewall platform like VM Series in Google Cloud provides you is great visibility. Once you are able to see the traffic and the packets, you are able to attribute what kind of traffic is it, and then you can apply typical controls to secure that traffic. So visibility is the first step. What you want next is an ability to have consistent security across the board in your on-prem environments and also in your cloud environments. This gives you several great benefits in that your tools are consistent across the board. You don't have to train your teams on new tools and you're applying same security policies and posture across the board. And these policies are built on next-gen firewall platforms like App ID, URL filtering, and protection against known threats and unknown threats. So now let's take a look at how would you deploy this virtual firewall in the Google Cloud networking environment. So what I have here is three VPCs for Google Cloud environment. This VPC is meant to be for management traffic. This VPC here is for the public facing side of the environment. And then you can build a VPC for your private or internal networks. So you've got a VPC here for that. So a VPC in Google Cloud is a typical RFC 1918 private space. And then you may have an on-prem component where you have a physical firewall connecting traffic going in and out of this environment. So in this environment, to protect this deployment, you can deploy a VM series in your project that includes all these VPCs, or you can create a shared VPC model as well. There are additional architecture options that are covered in the white paper on our website. You can take a look at those. This architecture is going to cover how we can protect north-south and east-west deployments. So let's take a look at how VM Series gets deployed in the setup. So VM Series is deployed as a virtual firewall. It's got an interface in the management network. It's got an interface in the public VPC. And it's got an interface in the private VPC. So the private VPC is where all your application environments are living. And this is the deployment that you are wanting to expose out to the internet. What you would do is the firewall's interface on the public VPC, you can assign a public IP to this. And what that means is that when user traffic comes in, it's going to come into the public IP of your stack. It's going to come to the firewall. The firewall is going to inspect that traffic and apply security policies that you configured. And then the traffic is going to go in to your application stack based on your security policies. And the application will obviously process that uh, traffic and then return back the traffic. So VM series is in the traffic path, protecting that traffic coming in and going out. So that is sort of the north-south aspect of traffic coming in and going out. And the intention of this deployment is that if you've got web servers, for example, an Apache Struts web server running here, you're using the VM series to protect yourself against known vulnerabilities that you've not been able to patch yet on your deployments. This gives you that inbound security. Similarly, when outbound traffic is going out from this deployment on the private VPC, you're able to say, I want to allow outbound traffic only to known destinations. For example, typical outbound traffic is to update servers. So for example, if you've got Ubuntu servers running here, you could say the Ubuntu VMs can only go to star.ubuntu.com or star.canonical.com, and they can only do an APD get, which means that you're protecting yourself against exfiltration or any Bitcoin mining or any of these other typical attacks that happen in public cloud environments. So this gives you that north-south security. Now, what if you wanted to also take care of east-west security, meaning between different application tiers or between different VPCs that have entire applications in them? So here's what you would do. You've got this deployment 
and you may have additional VPCs in your Google Cloud project. So let's say this is a database tier, VPC, and you've got a database that is deployed out here, and you want to make sure that east-west traffic between application tiers is secure. So the firewall would have an additional interface out here in this VPC, and then you would configure firewall policies in VM series to ensure that, let's say, the web tier can talk to the database tier, but only over MySQL. So that's a typical app ID based policy that you would configure in the firewall. And so this gives you that full control, north, south, and east to west. And so this deployment allows both those capabilities with full next gen firewall capabilities. Next, let's take a look at how do you build scale out deployments in Google Cloud. So we looked at how we protect north, south, and east west deployments. Now we're going to look at how to do scale out for inbound traffic into your Google Cloud environment. Here I've got a typical load balancer sandwich architecture. You can have inbound traffic coming to the external load balancer. The external load balancer can be the HTTPS load balancer or can be the pure TCP UDP load balancer provided by Google. Traffic comes to the load balancer. It spreads the load across a number of firewalls that you've deployed behind it to match the scale needs that you have. The firewalls will inspect that traffic based on the policies you configure, and then the firewalls will send that traffic to the internal load balancer. So this is a standard TCP UDP internal load balancer provided by Google. And then this load balancer spreads the load across to the front end of your application, which is typically a web tier. So this gives you a very clean scale out architecture where you can deploy as many firewalls as you need based on your scale needs, and then the web tier is also independently scaling. So this allows you to have scale out in public cloud for higher capacity and also for higher availability, including across several Google Cloud availability zones and regions. So what that showed you is an idea of some of the deployment architectures possible in Google Cloud using VM series. There are additional arch architectures that are available in the Google Cloud white paper available on our website. In addition to these deployment architectures and next-gen firewall capabilities, there are additional firewall capabilities such as bootstrapping, which allow automated deployment of the firewall using templates or API-based automation tools. You can also use external dynamic lists, EDLs, to bring in threat information from external sources. Another feature is monitoring the firewall using the stack driver capability so that you're not just monitoring the firewall from an external perspective, but also monitoring the internal metrics. So there are several capabilities like this which make the firewall very cloud native and allow you to dynamically take advantage of the cloud environment's capabilities. So that was an overview of how to use VM series to protect your Google Cloud deployments. There are several resources available on the website and also a Google Cloud white paper that gives you all these details and additional resources for protecting your Google Cloud environment. Thank you.